Hi, this is Lynette Chandler of TechBaseMarketing.com, and in this presentation, I'm going to show you why I use Uniform Server. And if you have read my blog at TechBaseMarketing.com forward slash blog, you would know the reasons why I want to run a server on my own computer and I'll give you a quick hint right now it's mostly because of development work whether I'm developing new scripts or a new WordPress theme and most of the time seriously I use it for WordPress and it's especially productive for me because I don't have to be online and get distracted with all that online stuff and that's why I run a server on my own computer now it has been really really hard in the past uh, for me to get a, a good server running because a web server with Apache which is the server uh, and PHP and MySQL is originally built for a Linux uh, computer and of course I run Windows and all the options that we had like several years before were really clunky and difficult and you know you had to be really really geeky to be able to install these but I like uniform server because it's so simple and I promise you it's so simple it's a matter of downloading the software installing it on your computer now what I have here what you see here on your screen is what I already have installed and I have it installed into a folder called uniform server into my program files folder and when I'm ready to work on a WordPress theme what I do is I come here and I start my server so I double click it and when the server starts it will show you this screen and this screen is basically a place where you can administer your server settings and you can uh, come in here and uh, open up PHP my admin which is uh, your database uh, manager and you can create your your databases here create a new user for a database and 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 do all the good stuff you need to do to install WordPress um, don't be intimidated by this in fact the the out of the package whoops out of the package uh, Uniform Server is good enough to run just for your own development purposes. Um, so if if you're confused over some of the terminology here, don't worry about them. You don't ever need to uh, reset them. You don't need to do any kind of change username and password. Don't don't even go there. If, all right. All you're doing is installing this so that you can run WordPress on your own computer for development work. It's as simple as that. Um, all right, so let's go on. So once the server is started, any uh, URL will be localhost forward slash something. So where do you put your WordPress files or where do you put any file that you want to test out or any script that you want to test out? It's really easy. Let's go back to the uniform server folder that I have here and go to U drive and you see this www okay to open that up and now you this is where you install all your uh, pages like I've got uh, different scripts that I've developed here I installed them here I have uh, HTML pages here that I can serve up and I have my WordPress of course and uh, it's that simple, you know, put in your, your theme files and your plugins the same way that you would into your FTP server. So, and it's much, much easier than FTPing because now you just copy from one folder to another. And so how do you pull up your WordPress configuration? Very, very easy. Uh, go to your browser again. As you can see, they have local host and then just type in WordPress or whatever folder that you've installed WordPress in um, and it will pull up there it is my installation and yes that's a new project I'm working on I won't go into details about that but you'll hear about that soon uh, very simple and let's say I've, I'm done with all my development work I just come back to the uniform server folder and I press stop and then this little window says press any key to continue go ahead and now when I try to refresh 
the server is gone. So this is how you get WordPress on your own computer for your own development work. And it's really, really good if you're changing over themes and, and you don't want to mess up your original site. So this, this will be a sandbox. So try it out.